Hi, my name is Freddy Petrelli. I am the director of the Forensic Anthropology Foundation of Guatemala. And uh, first of all, let me apologize for not being able to be with you today. Um, uh, I'm sorry, and uh, I hope the event goes really well. I'm, I'm sure it will. In my place, however, um, I have invited Michelle Stevenson, who is the head of our genetics laboratory here at the FAFG, to speak to you on the work we do in Guatemala, and I'm sure it will do really well. Michelle is probably one of the, the world's leading geneticists, definitely in the search of the disappeared. So she will be able to answer your questions and tell you how we work with families. Now, just since I do have a couple of minutes to talk to you, let me tell you that at the FAFG here in Guatemala, the most important thing is that we work with families, that we respect their needs, that we include them in the process, and that we do this for dignity. So it's really forensics for the dignity of families. And I think in all the work that we do, we always must remember that. The process, the forensic process, and the scientific process is something that we've known for many years. And even though there are great scientists, they're not always thinking of the families when we try to recover evidence. And so if we include the families in everything that we do, we make sure that the science is applied, not only to recover evidence to look for justice, but also to recover the truth and to give families and their loved ones who have disappeared dignity. And I think that's the most important thing, to do this forensic work with respect, with dignity, and always with a specific purpose of searching for and hopefully identifying everyone who's disappeared. And when I mean, when I say searching for is because hopefully we can find people alive. That's what the families want. The most important thing is to, to look for people who have disappeared and hopefully find them alive. However, a lot of times we can't do that and we find the bodies of those individuals and that's really important to the families as well. To have the possibility to, in a dignified way, say goodbye to their loved ones and to be able to bury them properly. The work in Guatemala that has been going on for the last 25 years focuses on that focuses in the inclusion of the family members, the inclusion of the survivors, the inclusion of the prosecutors in the entire process that goes from the investigation and documentation of victims, forensic ar archeology span or the recovery of the bodies, forensic anthropology or the determination of uh, the post-mortem profile, but also really important, the identification of the cause of death. How did this person die? Forensic genetics, which is an amazing tool, but needs to work together with all the other um, scientific uh, principles and areas. So we always speak of a multidisciplinary approach. And of course, the confirmation of identifications, which is in the end, is a way of conducting a scientific audit of it after everything we've done. So we always focus on human identification for the purpose of truth, for the purpose of justice. And I leave you with that thought. Think of the families, the responsibility that's on our shoulders to look for their loved ones, and the dignity that they deserve and their loved ones deserve. So thank you.